Hello everyone! Welcome to another episode of Bible Q&A. Today we're discussing, why did King Herod see Jesus as his rival? We've already done a video highlighting the spiritual reasons for Herod's pursuit of Jesus, but there are a few other factors that influenced his decision. In this video, we'll explore a few of them. For example, Herod heard from the chief priests and scribes that a future ruler would be born in Bethlehem. They cited Micah chapter 5 verse 2, which reads, But thou Bethlehem Ephrathah, though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me that is to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth have been from of old, from everlasting. Jesus was born in Bethlehem so he could use this passage to justify a potential coup d'etat against Herod. However, this individual wouldn't just govern. He would also free Israel from foreign occupation and make it the most important nation in the world. Even before the Exodus, Jacob said, The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet, until Shiloh come, and unto him shall the gathering of the people be. Genesis chapter 49 verse 10. Given that Herod had been appointed by the Romans, he could be overthrown by the Jews for collaborating with them or deposed by the Romans for allowing such a rebellion to happen in the first place. Herod would also likely be aware that any descendant of David had a claim to the throne because through Nathan, God promised that David's lineage would rule Israel forever. And when thy days be fulfilled and thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, I will set up thy seed after thee which shall proceed out of thy bowels, and I will establish his kingdom. He shall build an house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. 2 Samuel chapter 7 verses 12 to 13. In the centuries following the Babylonian captivity, there were hundreds if not thousands of people who had ties to the Davidic dynasty, and any of them would have had more legitimacy than a man put in power by the Romans. Ultimately though, Herod felt threatened by a literal baby because power had made him paranoid. Even though the Romans could easily suppress any rebellion in Judea, he still feared the end of his reign. Even a symbolic king of the Jews was a rival he couldn't tolerate. Power had also made him very spiteful. When he learned that the wise men tricked him, he killed all the babies of Bethlehem. He could have easily just sent spies to Bethlehem to listen in on the gossip surrounding this special child, but at this point he didn't just want Jesus gone. He wanted to make sure that no one could challenge his authority without consequences. Clearly then, the lesson from all this is that Christians should not seek out power and glory. The very person that Herod felt threatened by didn't even want his position. He went up into a mountain when people tried to make him king in John chapter 6 verse 15, and he refused to accept Satan's offer to rule the kingdoms of the world in Matthew chapter 4 verses 8 to 11. Yet, he was a far better leader than Herod ever was, and he'd end up becoming a lot more powerful. Thus, what Herod actually should have fought against was pride and greed, which would ultimately lead to Judea's destruction several decades later. And that is where I'm going to stop with this Bible Q&A. Why did King Herod see Jesus as his rival? He felt threatened by Jesus because there were hints that he could challenge his position, and he was completely obsessed with power and maintaining it. Thank you for listening! Don't forget to like and subscribe!